Homicide Hunter, Fatal Attraction, Murder Calls. Uh, that was all within this past year. A few independent projects. Uh -huh. um, one project I got into that was really surprised. The casting director called me back. And welcome to Kelly, where we talk about life, your life and my life. And through Kelly, we hope to inspire. I have Eric Morris on the show today. And Eric is actually, Eric was one of my, you trained here for, I sure did. I for two years, three years? About two years. About yeah. two years. Yeah. So I know Eric really well. And Eric is, I wanted to put Eric on the show for one. He is an average Joe. And when I say that, <laughs> you're not an average Joe, but as far as acting is concerned, um, you were probably one, when, when, when you first started in class, you were one of those people that I was thinking, I don't know if he's going to be able to loosen up enough to really <laughs> do this. Yeah. And you have. I'm, so yeah, working on it, but yeah. No, I mean, yeah. you, 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 uh, you just, um, a um, commercial just came out with you. It was for divorce. Yeah, Atlanta Divorce Lawyer Group, yes. And you looked so good in it. Uh, Ken <laughs> Kendall, Kendall uh, Hanslick was in it also, which was one of my students. And then um, Kit Vincent, Vincent yes, who was Kit, also on the show. That's my wife. Or yeah, the wife in the... Commercial wife. Co yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. But you, yes. You, looked, you looked so good. So I wanted to talk about the journey that you've, been on and the work that it takes to pursue this as a career. Did you ever really think in the beginning that you would get this far in being in commercial? You just had no. a national commercial, right? I did, yeah, ABC, I sure did. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, for uh, Hoods International, so owned by Bill Four Franchise Group. Uh, I didn't know it was gonna be a, a, a national commercial. I, I thought it was gonna be an in-house franchise video, specifically for the future franchise owners. Mm -hmm. But um, through a mutual friend, uh, I actually adopted a Greyhound from Sega, Southeastern Greyhound Association, which are great dogs if you're ever looking for another dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyways, the head of that, her husband, is uh, he owns a production company. And she, they found out I was an actor, and they wanted to, s to see if I would. They thought it would be great for the part. Uh -huh. So I auditioned for it and um, thought it was going to be an in-house, you know, franchise commercial. And... Along the way, the night when I showed up to shoot it at the restaurant, the, uh, we found out that the owner of Belfort International Group worked out a thing with ABC for the, during the James Beard Awards, uh, which is a big event for chefs. Uh -huh. And uh, next thing we know, it's uh, on ABC. Yeah, so, yeah so. <laughs> look at that. You just never know where your next uh, opportunity is going to come from. Yeah. So what I love about you is your work ethic. You have amazing work ethic, Thank and you. you own your own business. I do, yes. Um, you do, what's the name of your? It's Morris Environmental. We okay. do a waterproofing, mold testing, mold abatement, uh, things like that. Yeah. yeah. And that plays, I think, what I want people to realize that, um, you know, they're going into this profession, that you are a business. Yes. And you have to treat it as a business. You have to invest in yourself. You have to invest into uh, like you tape at home, right? I do. Yes. So you invested into, uh, your taping service and, mm -hmm. and things that you need. Some people, we have people that tape with us. There's other, uh, taping services. Oh, yeah. Um, sure. but that's an investment for, for an actor. Yes. And the work ethic that goes into, I, I read something one time and it said, if you really want to do something, then concentrate on the work. Yeah. And you are one of those people that have, <laughs> that have done that. When you came to class, you would do something over and over and over. You always came in prepared. You always had something. You took it serious. Mm -hmm. so, I took it serious. And uh, I think a lot of inspiring actors, especially here in Atlanta, they got to learn to really take treat this as a business, uh -huh. uh, and it, it is so hard. Uh, the acting business in general is just ex insanely difficult. It's so much more difficult than my current real business because I feel like I have more control uh -huh. over my business. But acting, you have control, but you're limited because you have to be chosen. Right. Uh, so you got to deal with that rejection all the time. Don't let it just blow it off, and you get better about it. Some people don't. Yeah. 
can't handle it, whatever. And yeah. you've gone through those times when you've had lulls, and then oh, you've yeah. popped back up to a... Yeah, there was a time uh, last Christmas, I was just about ready to uh, to hang it up. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, but I had enough, and uh, next thing I know, uh, things just changed quickly, and I've stayed uh, very busy this year. Uh -huh. I mean, so, so much so that I'm not even su submitting myself as much as I used to. Right. Because I just don't have the time. Right. Uh, but with that said, I mean, before I came here, I submitted myself to four different projects on Actors Access. So I still do it. I'm still looking. Uh, you know, the more the more you throw yourself out there, it's the more chance you have at uh, getting better at acting. So, yeah. yeah. So um, last year, another thing, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, um, we're going to talk about your team and having a team that really believes in you. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to you and you said you had gotten signed with a, an agent and you said, you know, I just, she just doesn't believe in me. And I was like, no, she probably does. And I actually had a conversation <laughs> with her yes. and it was exactly like you said. And we said, you know, you don't need anybody on your team that is not going to believe in you. Yes. And now you have a great agent. I do. I have a great agency. Uh, I, you know, I highly recommend my agent. <laughs> Who's your agent? Uh, BYSB Talent. Okay. Yes. Uh, the great guys. They really care. Uh, they really treat me with respect. They believe in me. Uh-huh. Uh, they, you know, where's the last agency and I won't say who it was, but uh, exact opposite. Right. She hired me. She thought I had a good look. She only submitted to me for stuff that was more non-speaking, commercials, uh, things like that, which I get it. I have a Southern accent, you know, uh, it's part of who I am. Uh -huh. and I, I try not to speak with it too much because of the stereotypes. <laughs> right. But, uh, you know, um, my agency now, they're really, they support me. I, they send me a, a great auditions. Uh, but with that said, I still, most of the projects I book, uh, most of the projects I, I'm submitting myself for all the time. I mean, it's just me putting it, putting it out there. Right. And I feel bad because my agency is always sending me stuff and I don't book it because you're, you're really, the competition is, is huge. Right. Uh, so you've got the, you know, there again, getting rejected is part of the game. Right. And uh, my agency, they know that. I'm checking with them and I tell them, so look, I, one of these days I'm going to, uh -huh. I'm going to make you some money. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they, they're very, uh, very, uh, they believe in me. Yeah, it's it's so it's so small steps, but one thing that an actor needs to realize is that your agent only does ten. You pay your agent ten percent. Right. Your agent does ten percent of the work, and your agent is getting. You know, if you're on Actors Access, you have access to to roles that your your agent might not. You know, see you for this, but you might see yourself for this, right. and so there's nothing wrong with helping your agent along because you've got to get to the point where you're marketable and you're, you know, you're I booking. Something to offer. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was reading something the other night about how to become an A-list actor. You know, nowadays it's very difficult with the internet. You think it would be easier, but you got to bring value mm -hmm. to a production. I mean, mm -hmm. why would they hire Eric? Right. You know, why? What, what can I what can I do for them? Right. There's a lot of actors out there that can do a great job, just as good as jobs that I can do, even better. So, but I have to have something to offer them, which has got to be more than just acting. So, yeah. which is a, an audience base. Right. So you really got to keep yourself out there, keep throwing yourself out there. Don't worry about rejection, and just keep keep plugging along. Because the more exposure you get, the more likelihood people are going to see you. And uh, you, you get a reputation, yeah. you know. So. And you're kind of a jack of all trades. You sing, <laughs> you yes, own your own business, yes, you're yes, an actor. Yes. Um, I have for you uh, some Milky Way. Um, right. Just to remind you that you're a gift in life, <laughs> and you've been a gift in my life. And I wanted to bring on just, you know, an actor that is really trying and working in in this industry and yes. you're you're one of those actors so I what are some things that you've been able to do for this last year because you said that your your momentum has picked up you're feeling better yes um a lot i was um went to houston for an id discovery uh, uh the series uh i forget the i forget the name of it but uh <laughs> it was a great opportunity um and then uh homicide hunter fatal traction Murder Calls, uh, that was all within this past year. A few independent projects. Uh -huh. um, one project I got into that was really 
surprised. The casting director called me back and told me she really wanted to book me for the role, but they selected another guy for it because he had a much longer IMDb resume. So much so he was a series regular on like uh, Days of Our Lives a long time ago. Right. So that really boosted my ego. They still gave me a role. I played a drunk guy that's, I won't tell you too much about it, but I was a drunk guy in a bar and I'm belligerent hitting on the uh, the main actress and uh, it was a good, a good, a good role, a good supporting role. And, uh, but it really made my day. Uh, that one is, uh, and a couple other productions we got going on. I got something coming up next month. A uh, really cool dark project where I play a, uh, a serial killer. So uh-huh. it's always fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, yeah, I just, and that one I didn't even sub, I submit myself for. They asked me if I would like to uh, be involved in it. So uh, you yeah, just never it's just know. Uh, a lot of different things. Commercial wise, uh, the ABC commercial, the Divorce Lawyer Group. Um, I've auditioned for a lot of commercials, but, uh, you know, that's a hard to book sometimes. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I just keep putting myself out there. Um, it's one of those things. you got to really just keep plugging along. Well, so, thank you, Eric. Thank you for coming. And, um, you know, your first big thing that you book, you got a place here on this seat. <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> and be, yes, um, just some advice. I mean, you pretty much said it all. Just keep plugging away. Um, but some advice to give to to an actor um, who is, uh, maybe they're in a lull. Ask yourself, do you really want to do this? You know, it's not for everybody. And that, that is the truth. Somebody told me that a long time ago, and I didn't believe it. And now that I'm doing it, it is not. You really got to really want to do this and because it is tough. And um, Why didn't you believe that? Because I thought it was obtainable. It seemed, you know, uh-huh. that it's something that you could obtain uh, and didn't seem like it would be that difficult. When you watch people on TV and you're, you're a kid, you watch the actors and you're like, wow, I want to be an actor, you know? Yeah. Easy. Nothing to it. Yeah, right. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> every show you watch on TV, every single selected actor in that show went through a lot to be where they're at. Yes. Yes. And, yeah, a lot. And That's the reason I get really upset. Like, if somebody says that an actor doesn't have the right to say things about the world that they're in, and I'm like, you know, that that just because that person is an actor doesn't mean they don't live in the world. It right. doesn't mean that they haven't struggled to be where they are and to get what they have. That's it's right. just you, you don't realize it. Yes, right. You watch the big A-list crew. The the well, There's maybe a handful of actors that are considered A-list actors. Right. You know? Them guys, I mean, they've been doing it for a long time. There's only a handful that maybe started late in life and they had a few lucky breaks, you know. But most of them have been at it since they were little kids. Uh-huh. And they've been, they've been through the gamut. They've seen all the hardships. They've been there, but they have something to offer each production. Right. Which is uh, viewers. Right. You know, so when you're nobody or you even get a small little snippet role on something that's a big project, that actor, man, they've been through so much. Yeah. Uh, training rejection yeah money spent to try to be better at the craft yeah it just it's non-stop so it's just not for everybody but if you really want to do it then just do it i mean it's nothing it's one of those things just put yourself out there with all positivity don't give up and apply yourself and train constantly and surround yourself with good people that believe in you well thank That's you the best thing you can do yeah Thank you, Eric. Thank you for being here. (laughs) Thank you. And guys, if you guys have any questions, uh, please leave a comment below and share this segment. We hope we inspired and educated you.